Just get it done. Anyway, one more awesome story. It's going to be a short show. I don't care. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I don't give a shit, man. I'm a fucking rebel. I'm old. I'm going to sleep. Back in the day, I would be like, you know, just out fucking shit up and like all kinds of shenanigans and tomfoolery and whatnot. But no, not anymore. I don't need energy for that shit. Last but certainly not least, and I've seen this story in many places. This just happens to be the version from uh, the Daily Mirror in the UK. So they call her Mum, M U M. Mum looks like she had five rounds with Mike Tyson after getting eyes tattooed. Now, I don't think they specify in the story <clears throat> whether or not they mean five rounds of boxing or five rounds of rape. Yes, there was a Mike Tyson. Rape joke. I only do the most current shit here. Um, a mom says she was going blind and looked like she'd done five rounds with Mike Tyson after getting tattoos on her eyeballs. Anaya Peterson, 32, was inspired to get the risky body modification procedures by alternative model Amber Luke, but she soon regretted her decision. <laughs> Did she? I find it hard to believe since that seems such like a solid foundation to base a decision on. To be inspired by alternative model Amber Luke. I don't know who the fuck that is. But I guess she got her eyeballs tattooed. Bitch, she just put in some contacts. I mean, really? Have you seen contacts? You can look like you fucking make your eyes look like anything. You can look like Michael Jackson from Thriller. Anything. You just take white contacts. It looks like your eyes roll back in your back of your head fucking permanently. You take them out and your eyes are... What am I saying? She ain't watching this. Now there's um there's the pictures. I, I I don't know what more can be said to this woman that is that hasn't already been done to her face. I anyway, um, apparently when Amber had the procedure, she was left with temporary vision issues, but this didn't put Anaya off. According to the Daily Star, initially she planned to only get one eye done, but then changed her mind and went for both. And they both swelled up, leaving her a little worse for wear. Yeah. As you can tell by the tattoos on her face, she's uh, she makes poor decisions. I mean, well, by the way, well, what the, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are these pictures? A lot of, like, a lot of these tattoos aren't even there. Are these fake tattoos on her face? I don't get that. You know what? But I don't care enough to look into it. Um, my daughter told me I didn't want to do that, uh, asking, what if I go blind? What if you go blind? She wasn't bore, on board with it at all. She uh, suffers some dryness and some headaches to begin with uh, in her eyes. <laughs> some dryness in her eyes. <laughs> Symptoms were mild for months. She decided to go ahead and ink her left eye purple that December. And... um she wished she had listened to her seven-year-old child. She claims she was hospitalized after getting her eyes tattooed and is now at risk of developing cataracts. The law students. <laughs> is this a fake story? The law student said, I just wanted to be at home watching TV. I can't even put it into words. It wasn't nice at all whatsoever. <laughs> She's a law student. <laughs> what? What? I know this is in Ireland. Can you practice law with face tattoos and, and tattooed eyeballs? I mean, as fucking wild, Ireland sounds like a wild fucking place. I would watch that show. Like fucking, you know, Law and Order Tattooed Eyeballs Edition. <laughs> so she just remembers thinking, I'm not doing that shit again with the eye tattoo. I'm definitely not doing that shit again. Well, yeah, obviously. First of all, why would you? They're already tattooed. Second of all, yeah, you wouldn't tattoo him again. How would you? There's so much fucked up about the story. She said, I don't have 20-20 vision anymore. From a distance, I can't see features on faces. That's, that's a coin. Look, she's got the split fucking tongue, too, I just noticed. Oh, my God. I, I'm... 
And I know a lot of young people, this makes me sound like the fucking get off my lawn, old fuddy daddy fucking dude, but goddamn, man. Have some respect for yourself. Look at this dumb bitch. Look at this face. Would you hire her for anything? A lawyer? How fucking bad off you got to be that you need to hire this bitch as your lawyer? I mean, how poor and uh, facing death row do you have to be? And every other lawyer in Ireland and in England and Europe and North America all turned you down and you were stuck with this bitch as your lawyer. Who just in that little picture right there encapsulates so many poor decisions. But she's going to defend you and make sure you don't go to jail. Get the fuck out of here. This I'm done. I'm just, I'm done with this story. I can't do it anymore. I can't look at this bitch anymore. I'm just fucking done. I can't. Why, man? And I know I've said this a lot of times before, and I've said it on this show, I've said it on other shows, I've said it as a guest on other shows. But it wasn't until recently that we had our basic needs so met, the majority of us, especially in the Western world, that see I'm fucking I'm like like picking up my eyes now because I like just oh, it's driving me nuts. The thought of this bitch. A tattoo gun on her eye. That's another thing. What the fuck? Have something that sharp in your fucking eyeball. You dumb fucking twat. <sighs> Knows what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. For most of human history, we'd worry about uh, food, water, not getting killed, not getting eaten by a lion. It's only just recently that we have all this time on our hands and our basic needs are so net met. I can't stop fucking with my eyeballs now. I can't. I feel like my eyeballs are swelling up it just, and, and, and as we're talking. I'm having a, excuse me, I'm having a visceral fucking reaction to this one. It wasn't until recently that the combination of all this time on our hands and having our basic needs so met and we're not worried about going hungry or being eaten by a lion. We have so much time to do this type of stuff. You add that to social media where these these stories can just fly around the world in a matter of hours and everybody knows about them. And I I don't know. Cultural decline, decline of society. I mean, we're certainly in the decline of the American Empire. Even though this is from Ireland, it's, you know, it's the same, it's the Western world. You know, people in Africa right now, they're not tattooing well, maybe they are tattooing their eyeballs with some sort of, you know, ceremony or whatever. But they're they're still worried about basic shit. Poor people in like underdeveloped countries are still worried about basic shit. They don't have time to make TikTok dances uh, videos like a fucking Ukrainian soldier. Anyway, that's there's an annoying story to end on. I don't realize how much this bitch I was getting my nerves. I should have ended with the bull sperm story. Something more upbeat. But it is what it is. I mean, you get what you pay for. Stoner Jesus are live, chapter six, verse fourteen. It was awesome. Keep spreading the word about stonerjesus.net. Tell people.